what up this is dollar cost average investing coming back with you another video people I appreciate it if you share the video subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and give me a thumbs up if you like this video so we're gonna look at amd now uh amd i've been buying amd for a minute and i haven't talked about it much up here but i'm gonna start talking about it more amd is one of the stocks that i bought for before i bought nvidia and I'm up pretty decent in AMD. So right now it's trading $156 a share. Year to date, um, it is up 8.55% compared when you have NVIDIA up 150%. I'm talking about that is a big difference. And so with AMD, you have Lisa Su, which is the CEO. Now, Lisa had pretty much bought ZT system for $4.9 billion to challenge NVIDIA. Now, I think NVIDIA is going to keep the market share, but AMD is going to get a piece of their pie. And so if I had to pick, you know, to my, if I had to save from second and third, I do have Broadcom in there. But between Broadcom and AMD, I think one of them two is going to be there um, getting the rest of the other share. And then you have others. But AMD, I would probably have to say maybe second place because they're doing some big things in ZT system and they're looking at ZT systems to help them try to catch up with um, um, NVIDIA. So, you know, like I said before, now AMD spent $5 billion to get more AI talent in the race to catch NVIDIA. It's all about AI people. And, you know, like I said before, I'm talking about, you know what, let's see, uh, Year to date with this, it go out a year with AMD. Uh, AMD hit a high of what two hundred eleven dollars. So I'm um, to my, I think it's gonna get back to the two hundred eleven and pass it. So I think right now, why it's under that, I'm gonna keep buying people. Um, you know, Nvidia got August twenty eight shares. I mean twenty eight earnings, and then Nvidia blew it out of the park. AMD is going up with it automatically. So I wanted you to listen to. This right here, AMD acquire server builder ET system. What to know? So this just give you a little bit more. Billion dollar deal, but Nvidia has such a massive lead with regard to perception, sentiment, and balance sheet versus AMD. Is a five billion dollar deal going to be enough to even put them in the same conversation? This is not going to be enough, but this is a step in the right direction. And it's a recognition by AMD that we're really moving from chips to systems and they're woefully behind NVIDIA's systems development like DGX, what we see there. Uh, so this is a step in the right direction and a catch up play from AMD. Is this gonna be enough of a catch up play though, where AMD can get even close to the same kinds of returns that we've seen medium to longer term than NVIDIA? I guess in other words, I would just ask, could NVIDIA be the AMD story or AMD the NVIDIA story of the next five to 10 years? AMD could be, but NVIDIA has such a lead here, particularly in software and in CUDA, that it's unlikely. Uh, but AMD can have a piece of the pie here overall. We think they could ultimately have 10 or 15, perhaps even 20% of this market. But in order to do so, they need a rack scale system design. Really think about it this way. We're not talking about chips anymore we're talking about mini super supercomputers and in fact even large clusters of supercomputers in the future and so that's what amd is doing here it's basically buying designers a thousand of them in order to compete with the system design that you see out of nvidia they're trying to hyperscale themselves to be able to meet demand for hyperscaler customers themselves now the question becomes is this the paradigm shift with regard to semiconductor and systems are we going to see other manufacturers of server systems and computers become targets based upon what we've seen with zt that is a good question. Uh, we think it is less about the system manufacturing and more about the designers. What AMD really did here 
was buy this company for 1,000 designers of these systems, and then they're gonna jettison or sell the rest of the manufacturing business where we think the real value in the company is. It shows how hard it is to acquire these designers and this expertise. So there may be a race here for this systems design, but there are not enough designers to go around. So you just heard um, what they were saying right there um, about the uh, what AMD is doing. So, you know, he just explained that, you know, they're trying to catch NVIDIA people and they're doing everything they possibly can. And this is like a step in the right direction. Now, he's saying they buying the business, take some of the business, you know, pieces out of the business and then sell the rest of it. So. Like I said, Lisa Sue, I think she might be like the cousin of um, the NVIDIA CEO. Uh, so I'm thinking, uh, I don't know, but you know, they, you see they into this AI race, they, they in the family. So I'm talking about, you know, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. And, you know, like I said, I think she has a good shot. Uh, to give NVIDIA a run for their money and stuff like that. But I wouldn't bet better off, better off on them right now. But AMD is one of my long play. And I'm going to keep dollar cost averaging. Any dips that come up like we had a couple weeks ago on Black Monday, I will be buying again. So I'm talking about what we had a, let me see, let me go back. We had a good dip. I know I had got into, it's like around like, yeah, it was like real like 130 something. It was real low. It was like 130 something. I had got into a, that good dip and everything. But with that said, people just want to put this video on your radar. This is Dollar Call Average Investing, and I'll catch you on the next one.